Today, we are going to show you how to frame shed walls and attach them to a concrete floor using anchor bolts. Start by taking the bottom plate of the wall you will frame off the anchor bolts and set it where you have room enough to frame the wall. Measure it and cut a top plate to the same length. Stand the plates on edge next to each other and flush the ends with each other so you can lay out the wall stud locations. To mark the stud locations, measure along the plates and make a mark at 15 and a quarter inches to show the edge of the first stud. Continue down the plates and mark the remaining stud locations at 16 inches on center. The marks will be 3 quarter inches on either side of each multiple of 16 at what will be the wall stud's edge. Once the stud locations are marked, you will then transfer the marks across both plates and put an X on the side of the mark that the wall stud will sit on. Crown each board by looking down the board edge to find the direction it bows in. Set the boards down with the crown rising up. Crowning the boards makes the surface more even, which produces a straighter wall. A straighter and flatter wall makes it easier to install the siding and drywall. Separate the two wall plates and move the top plate to the other end of the wall studs. You are now ready to nail the top plate and bottom plate to the wall stud. Each wall stud mark gets a board nailed on the X side of the mark. Make sure that the floor is swept clean before standing the wall, and then lift the top of the wall and stand it up. Once the wall is stood up, it needs to be slid over adjacent to the anchor bolts. The wall is then lifted onto the anchor bolts and the bolts are aligned with their respective holes. Brace the wall so it won't fall over by attaching a board at a 45 degree angle on the ends of the wall. Make sure both ends of the board are secure. Now install the washers and nuts to hold the wall securely. Make sure that the wall plate is in line with the chalk line on the ground before fully tightening the nuts. These 3 inch by 3 inch washers are commonly required by building code to create a secure load path and resist uplift. To frame a wall with an opening like a door or window, you draw layout marks on the wall plates just like the first wall we built. You then draw the marks to locate the opening. Mark the opening lines first and then put an X on the outside of the mark for the king stud location and a an T on the inside of the line to designate the trimmer stud location. All of the plans we sell on iCreatables.com show you the dimensions for building door and or window openings. You can find the link to these plans and hundreds of others in the comments below. To frame the doorway, you will first build a header. A header is made by sandwiching a piece of OSB between the two header boards and nailing them together. Double check that all edges are flush before nailing. For this doorway, we first nailed the king studs to the plates, and then nailed the trimmer boards to the king studs. We then set the header at the top of the trimmer boards between the king studs, and nailed the king studs to the header. The header edges should be flush to the faces of the king studs before nailing. If the walls are taller than 7 foot 7 inches, you will need to install cripple boards between the header and the top plate. To locate the cripple locations on the header, we took a square and held it on the stud marks on the top plate, and then marked the location on the header. The cripples were then cut and installed. The rest of the wall was framed, stood up, and attached to the anchor bolts like we did the first wall. A tip for installing a wall stud on top of an anchor bolt is to cut a triangle shape into the end of the stud so it can go over the bolt. This is necessary when an anchor bolt accidentally lines up with a wall stud. After standing two walls that meet at a corner, you will nail the end studs to each other. Make sure that the boards are flush with each other and put a nail every 16 inches from the floor to the top plates. After the walls were all framed, stood up, and nailed together at the corners, we installed the overlapping top plates to tie the walls together. Two nails are installed on each side of the joint and then every 16 inches along the top plate to the other end. 
After framing the other walls, we were ready to start installing the siding. Check out the next video to see how we did it. If you are not already an iCreatables TV subscriber, click here to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. It is our mission to help you reclaim your garage, so click on any of these videos to see more shed building, or visit iCreatables.com to download shed plans.